The substance is unsafe and has a serious, serious potential for abuse, especially by children, since it can be freely sold to anyone in Missouri, with a few notable exceptions. That includes St. Charles and Pettis counties, where county ordinances were enacted earlier this year, and several cities in eastern Missouri, including St. Charles, Forestal, Union, Pacific, Washington, and St. Clair. To date, only four other states have taken action to ban distribution or possession of K2. Today, Missouri will step to the front by taking a tough stand on this public health and safety issue. In a minute, I will sign House Bill 1472, which will criminalize possession of K2. We've been dealing with K2 for some time now. Seeing the effects that it causes firsthand and not being able to do anything about it from a law enforcement perspective has been very disturbing. Governor Nixon, I thank you personally and on behalf of the law enforcement community and as a citizen of the state of Missouri for signing this legislation into law. If we together can save just one person, or more importantly, one child, from addiction or death, it will be worth all the efforts that we will put forth in enforcing this law. I've talked to a lot of kids that say, hey, you know, it's great, it's awesome, and we've also had some adverse effects of that. Um, some kids that have gotten hurt in the hospital. Um, you know, if we can, we can save one kid's life out of this law, then I think we've done our job, you know, and I, I think we're going to do that. One student at school, um, couldn't prove it 100%, but um, everybody that I spoke with said he was smoking the K2 that morning. Uh, he was hospitalized. Um, some that we can't confirm, obviously, because people weren't going to be honest about it. Um, but we've had a couple instances where people have been hospitalized for it. If we're able to find someone in the possession of it uh, with up to so many grams, it'll be a, a misdemeanor offense. I believe it's going to be... A, the same as marijuana as far as scheduling, so after so much of a wait, it becomes a felony. If it's packaged for distribution, we can charge them with uh, possession with intent to distribute, um, which gives us a lot of room to work with, which is great. You know, in law enforcement, we try to be proactive, and I think that's what we're doing here is being proactive, and we're, we're making it to where we're going to get rid of this stuff before it becomes an epidemic.